Hey, it's Marissa from No Fluff Zone, and today I wanted to share with you this pretty transformative resource that's free for your classroom. So, first I'll start with how I found out about Class Dojo. So, when I went to pick up the students from music, the music teacher had these little monsters on with my students' think. And I was like, yo, what's that? And he was like, oh, it's Class Dojo. I'm shocked you haven't heard about it. And he, he took the time, I'm very grateful he took the time to explain to me what it was, you know, how you can communicate with parents. For example, he's a music teacher and he has a hard time going through, looking through. He has, what, 90 students, 100 students, I'm unsure. All the students in the classroom and the school pretty much. So it's hard for him to communicate with parents. So this is the tool he would use if he wanted parents, certain parents for choir, or chorus, or they had an activity, a show, and they wanted him, the students, he wanted the students dressed a certain way. So this is the resource he would use to communicate with parents. And it's pretty much, even the kids wanted to tell me about class dojo. They're like, yeah, you should have that in their class. It would be so much fun. So they started persuading me to use class dojo. So I gave it a look. I gave it a shot. And I've never turned back. Um, I've been so passionate about class dojo. I even signed up to be the men uh, the mentor in my school. So I'm the person uh, designated to approve or deny teachers in our school because you'll have students trying to get a teacher account so that they can play teacher with their friends. Um, so I'll, I'm going to explain to you my favorite features of Dojo. First thing I love about Dojo is I can connect parents easily. So last year was my first year having a student that I did not speak the same language that she she speaks I speak English and Spanish so I've never had an issue with not speaking English the child doesn't speak English but this year was a last year was the first time I had an issue with a child spoke French and I didn't speak French so Dojo has an ability where when you communicate um, with parents you can translate your message and it's a pretty good translator I mean I communicated with the parent very effectively that year so they all have their little monsters. Um, they have their bubbles. So you'll see green or red. So if the kids are doing really well and you wanna reward them that way, they'll get green points, positive points. And if they need to improve on something, they'll have needs work skills. So these, it's up to you whether you wanna take a point away. I take points away or you could leave it a neutral point. They have this really amazing feature called toolkit where you have a timer It'll display the time you can even add a time these are the typical times I guess that teachers use they have random so when you want to pick a runner or a kid to win something or you know sometimes I know in our school the PTA will have extra ice creams and she'll be like oh who's been really well and they've all been really well behaved so I'll just leave it to random and they'll be like oh my god you know I wanted to get picked and I was like sorry <laughs> You know, I blame it on Dojo. Oh, that's what Dojo did for me. So just blame it on Dojo. We have the group maker. So you can set up how many students per group. And you even have a feature where you don't have to group certain kids together. The two kids that don't get along or the two kids that are really get along a little too well, you know, and they'll be distracted sitting next to each other. They have this feature called the noise meter um, where it will tell the children, it will show the children when noise levels getting too high and you'll hear them them themselves lower their own volume they have directions so you know that kid that you say okay do questions one through three and everybody's doing one through three and you see them kind of working and then you go to them and they'll be like hey what question am i supposed to be on just write it on the board i just write it here right here in directions i'll type it i'll say oh do one through three and it's a visual reminder for them to know which question to stop at Think pair and share you'll display a little question here you'll type it up and it could be like what are you grateful for today they have these ideas and it helps them create a community the thing about dojo is a lot of these resources a lot of these tools a lot of the programming that's going into this is to create a community it's not just a behavior management system um, a lot of the people I've worked with were like oh they thought it was just good points and bad points no there's a lot more to dojo than just that if you use dojo correctly and it works out pretty well for you you will have children that 
will say this is my family this is my class family like they really love how dojo builds community um they'll have a music feature which i love it's you have two stations to pick from focus and act so you know when you give the students a uh, activity where they have to pay attention for a task or something an independent activity that requires a lot of attention on their part and someone drops a book or someone drops a pencil and then everybody turns and then you're sitting there like wow this kid was really going now he's completely really off task i put this thing called elevator music so elevator music is what i call background music so they'll sit there and they'll just they're paying attention to this music so they're not completely off task um, if they hear something drop. So you have the ability, let's say they go to lunch and all of them were amazing. You can select multiple, you select all, and you award all of them. You get feedback on task. So that is something that, once again, will build a community in your classroom because when a kid starts getting off task in the cafeteria, They'll say, hey, Bob, take it easy, man. We're not going to earn our point for the cafeteria today. Or we're we're, we're going to get in trouble as a class. I have a timer there as well. So you can have this up. What I do is I split the screen. So I'll have this here on the, on the left, and I'll have the assignment on the right. You have a little countdown or stopwatch. Um, student accounts. This is what I do. A big reward. Once their parents have signed up for Dojo, I print out their little student signing account, their account number, and they log into their, because most of them have their own little devices, so they'll go home, download the Dojo app, with parental permission, of course, and they'll have the ability to customize their monsters, work on their di digital portfolio, and more. So yesterday, I was on Twitter, and I, no, I was on Instagram, and one of the teachers shared their first portfolio a post I haven't done portfolio yet but it seems like something very exciting for the children to share those aha moments or that moment of triumph that you know parents might not see because they're working and you're the one that sees it so why not give the children the power to show their parents all their hard work in the classroom so I'm gonna give that a try this year Oh, this is the best feature. This is my favorite thing about Class Dojo. It's not the points, it's not the communication, it's not that, it's the big ideas. So the big ideas, um, they're these little videos. I am unsure of how these videos were created. I do know that some of the videos will say Stanford University and Harvard, Harvard University. So I'm, I'm inferring that they made a partnership with the universities to create these videos that taught social and emotional learning so you'll have growth mindset perseverance empathy so for example growth mindset so i usually start you know the mojo show which i always follow your brain is like a muscle so it'll be like a little activity um that has so it's a five minute activity it's a video you're supposed to watch it discuss and share you also have a download of the downloadable discussion guide and it tells you questions Right? In episode one, a secret about the brain, Mojo learns a secret from his friend Kate that changes how he thinks about learning. Gives you specific data of that student. So this student, what do they, they're positive. 17 of their points have been positive. One has been negative, no homework. So that one time they haven't turned in homework. So it's been only one time. So it's the first week of school. So he's getting adjusted to school. And here, I'll even show you, if you scroll down, the exact date and time you put it. You can print this report on a spreadsheet, and it's really good when you're staffing students or you're referring students for assistance to a student support team in your school. And you can say, look, after a certain time, the student was really off task. For example, I had an example of a student that after 1.30 p.m., he was off the wall. He was all over the place, very fidgety, very anxious, very off task. He needed my constant attention and my constant redirection. So I kept noticing this pattern. Hey, after a certain time, like a certain subject, you know, he was having a hard time. I expressed my feelings to mom. I communicated through Dojo and mom. I showed her the thing, the spreadsheet, the report. And she was like, 
my goodness, I've been having the same issue at home. I thought it was with me only. And I'm like, no, we're having the same problem. And she's like, well, I forgot to mention he takes medication. And she's like, I'll let the pediatrician know that, you know, I need a different medication or a higher dosage. So all they did was they upped his dosage a little and he went back to um, being very focused and very on task. So these videos are the perfect opportunity to teach a social emotional skill to a child without signaling them out. And most of the time, we are not aware of certain students that are displaying these feelings because they have these feelings because they're not displaying them. So, you know, that saying where the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So the child that's, you know, being disruptive or exclaiming oh this is so annoying or this is frustrating or I'm, I'm frustrated i don't want to do this anymore that's the child that's going to get the help from you but little you know little do we know that especially me like me as a child i can relate to that i was very quiet i didn't speak up and when i didn't get something i just stared and i was quiet and inside i was blowing up like i was like oh my god i'm dumb i, I don't know these things i'm frustrated but i didn't have the courage to express my frustration so this is a, a really awesome way to teach the children whole group and maybe children you haven't even noticed are displaying these negative undesired behaviors or thoughts in their heads and they'll even use the phrases hey um like one one talks about the maze so the maze is pretty much when you're in your feelings and you forget about how other people are feeling and you just act a certain way without considering others feelings so they'll say oh Anna, get out the maze. You're in the maze right now. You're in the maze. So they'll self-check each other. This is what Dojo does. Dojo teaches them independent skills as a group. And they will check themselves. So you won't be the only disciplinary. They'll be like, hey, you know, this is our class. This is our, this is our second home. We have to treat each other like family. Don't, don't do those things. We're not supposed to do those things. So this is all things to dojo, so I'm going to play a little quick, the intro. And the Chapter kids are one. like, movie Bojo Dojo discovers a secret about his brain. A secret that will change the way he looks at the world forever. Our story begins with Mojo. So these are quick little videos that will encourage them to take risks, to have a growth mindset, you know to use empathy these are the you know it words right now and dojo does it for you now here is my third favorite thing i do with dojo so dismissal is very important to me dismissal is the moment you return especially parent pickup you return the child to the parent and you will have that sometimes that quick conversation oh they did great oh you know they need to work on this or they didn't do their homework or whatever the conversation may be but i use dojo for dismissal i have instances where this is how i use it first so first i'll have the person who's picking them up so mom grandma adult brother adult sister aunt cousin dad friend parent pre-notified so if the mom's best friend is coming to pick them up you know in our school we have we're, we have the fortune i guess the children have the fortune that many different people come to pick them up it's a very um it's a community where people are friends with each other and they have many you know uncles aunts cousins older siblings that will come and pick them up it's not always just mom or dad so i also have one called i left before they left so i once my time is up to leave to go to return to my classroom i would leave them with the security guard i would put that note to remind me they stay with the security guard uh, under the security guard supervision older sibling that attends the school so if they're walkers i will put that an uncle they went home early because sometimes you'll be in dismissal so you'll be like oh my god where's eric where's eric where's eric and you you tell the kids hey where's eric they're like oh remember you went home early <sighs> okay you went home early um also absent dismissal is very important to me dismissal is the moment you return especially parent pickup you return the child to the parent and you will have that sometimes that quick conversation oh they're great oh you know they need to work on this or they didn't do their homework or whatever the conversation may be but i use dojo for dismissal i have instances where 
This is how I use it first. So first, I'll have the person who's picking them up. So mom, grandma, adult brother, adult sister, aunt, cousin, dad, friend, parent, pre-notified. So if the mom's best friend is coming to pick them up. You know, in our school, we have we're, we have the fortune, I guess the children have the fortune that many different people come to pick them up. It's a very, um, it's a community where people are friends with each other and they have many, you know, uncles, aunts, cousins, older siblings that will come and pick them up. It's not always just mom or dad. Biggest incentive ever. I came up with having Adventure Time Lunch. So every Friday I try to have lunch with the students. And in this lunch, we watch one episode of Adventure Time, which coincidentally is like 15 minutes. And then we talk about their interests. Like, so for example, I knew about Fortnite before Fortnite blew up. Or I would know about certain things before they blow up because the kids are the ones that are telling me about these things so how do I do that I do every week top five students so right before we line up for lunch I'll tell them okay you 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 a B C you've earned the adventure time party you have the most amount of dojo points you've earned it so then you'll have kids crying oh I really want an adventure time party like look I understand you're frustrated and you're not satisfied but you have the opportunity to earn an adventure time party next week and that's gonna be pretty awesome so I reset the bubbles um, at first I didn't like resetting the bubbles because they do like seeing oh I have a thousand points and they really do start competing with each other but in resetting the bubbles you're giving that kid that always has red points an opportunity to be good and it's motivating them to be good so in my case depending on the class I will you know keep the bubbles um, when they're really close competing with each other but in other cases I will not I will reset the bubbles so those are my quick ways I use class dojo in my classroom if you haven't given dojo a shot and you're in an elementary school that your principal would allow you to use it give it a shot it's worth the shot it's a free resource it provides you with data of communication. It provides you with specific data of how students, you know, depending on how you use it, how students are being positive, showing positive or negative skills. And it's something that's gonna make your life easier. And the kids will love you for it. They love having dojo. They love hearing the positive sound. They love hearing the, you know, the, yes, you got adventure time party today. So it gets to a point where it's a lot of different kids having adventure time party at the same time so it builds classroom community so you know I just wanted to make this video I hope you learn from it tips and tricks on how to use dojo uh, I'm very grateful to the creators of dojo and I just don't understand how it's still a free resource this is something that that is transformed my school and my teaching so thanks for watching um please subscribe to no flip zone for more teacher videos and i hope you have a great rest of the school year